welcome to the channel for the first time viewers welcome back from my existing subscribers like the fifth time i've had to reload redo this video so uh windows 11 issues and disconnecting drives uh, but today we're going to look at how you can set your games to run on specific cores so if you have a x3d chip or let's say you have one of those new ryzen's like a 7900x or a 5900x even and you only wanted the games to run on one of your uh, sets of cores versus the latency that is created when you have uh, the game bouncing between CCDs on the Ryzen side, or if you just wanted to prevent games from being able to tap into a E core on the um, on the Intel side, we're going to do that. So we're going to go ahead and launch the game here. So Call of Duty or whatever game you're trying to launch, you can also do it for regular programs. It doesn't just have to be games. Um, so here I'm going to show you how to use the affinity through task manager, and we're going to go through process lasso uh, to double check as well. So now that the game is launched, we're going to hit control shift escape to open up the task manager. And we can see our apps that are currently open. So we got uh, call of duty, HQ, Battle.net, OBS, blah, blah, blah. Hit this drop down. You'll, you can, um, right click and get to your details here. So go to details or. You can go to this little, these little three dots or this little bar menu and see your programs or your details page here. If for whatever reason, it's not showing up, your showing your game up top. What you can do is you can go through your memory usage and usually your games are going to be what's using most of the memory on your PC. So we can right click and set affinity. So right now, Call of Duty is allowed to use all of my cores uh, and pretty much all 16 cores, vCache, non vCache, whatever, whatever it wants, right? What I can do is I can hit all processors and CCD zero for me is the vCache uh, CCD on the 7950X3D. So zero, one, two, three, all the way to seven. And since I want my hyper threading on, I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way to 15. So that's my eight cores and my 16 threads. So now when I go back into the game, I'll have um, just those uh, those cores being able to be used uh, by the game. So another way you can do this a little bit more automated is if you click on or if you download process lasso, which you'll hear in the optimization scene a lot. But here we have active processes. We can see cod.exe. So if we right click on it, we can set affinity for current. So this is like for now what's it what it's actually using. And this is just what I had just set. We can disable multi-threading here, and we also have the option for always. Now, what I notice is when I hit FFFF, so four Fs, it'll select the first two columns. So on my Intel chip, I don't have hyper-threading. So for me on my Intel, it shows uh, CPUs one through seven, and then it also does say E core. So it says CPU like eight, and it'll say E core. Um, so the rest will be E cores here. So it's just a quick way to do it. Let's say I did, FF, you can see that's just one row. That's my Intel setup. And this is my AMD setup, but you can manually go through and check each box too, right? So this makes sure that everything is set to go. The last little bit here is if you click on options, you can go to forced, uh, forced mode. So it continuously reapplies the settings uh, because sometimes this will get dropped off. Um, and yeah, it's a super, super simple fix, but that should be able to get you some FPS back um, when you're playing the game. So if you have any questions, throw it in the uh, comment section and I'll catch you all on the flip. Be easy.